All right, uh, let's continue. All right, as you learn that, uh, you can represent a, if you, a previous lesson that you learned that uh, A plus B, I write, is a complex number, which this is a real number. Uh, this is a real numbers. And this is a real, ima okay, real part. Lah. Okay, we, let's put it as real part. This is an imaginary part. Okay, not uh, imaginary parts. So you, we will define as this way. So the Dragon Ball Z here, the Z here, complex number, is a combination of real numbers and imaginary numbers. Okay, so uh, this is actually also a Cartesian form, right? Now there is a polar polar form, okay? Polar form for for Z and exponential form. So uh, now I'm going to talk about Cartesian form. You know what is Cartesian? Cartesian talk about x y, right? x y so means that okay i can write lah okay i can also can represent x a in the form of a plus y i right a plus y i means that ah uh, you can use x and y axis now y x and y axis for example if i have z equals to uh, uh, 2 plus i 2 plus i means 2 plus 1 i i can put it in the argon diagram ah we name this to be a argon diagram so which is consists of real and imaginary part uh, I am short form of imaginary and uh, RE is for real part so you can put two two means okay one two two and one so two one so this is a in Cartesian form okay now this is Cartesian form and you put in the uh, Cart Cartesian plane, which is x, y exists, but now I, uh, the x to be real z and imaginary z. Uh, this one I can represent in a argon diagram. This one is called as argon diagram. We will go detail for this in the coming lesson. Okay, in the coming lesson, argon, argon diagram. Okay, argon diagram. So if you have z equals to negative uh, three plus with 2i, okay, where is this, right, where is this, this is the first quadrant, right, so where is this quadrant will be, so this is also the same as the real and the imaginary axis, real axis, negative 3, okay, as usual, is represent your x, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, so and 2, 1, 2, so this is the point, right, so I draw from here to here, so I already represent this in the argon diagram. This is my argon diagram for this. Okay, for the last one, let's say if I have uh, uh, negative one minus four uh, i. Uh, where is this? You want you need to locate this in the argon diagram. Okay, you need to understand this is Cartesian form. Cartesian form. So you can locate it in a argon diagram. Okay, so real z and imaginary z so negative one negative one negative four okay negative four yes in the third quadrant uh, i draw a line here okay uh, so this is how i represent a cartesian form this is cartesian form in the argon diagram all right